everyone, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and welcome to the spring edition of Farmhouse Home Tour Series. I absolutely love sharing this home tour series with you all in hopes that it can give you guys inspiration for DIY projects, maybe to get some thrifty finds in your home or maybe even just some styling ideas. I hope this video series can inspire you all to create a home that you love for you and your family. A big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring the Farmhouse Home Tour series. Crates and Palette's forged steel brackets are a super, super easy DIY project that can add with a simple piece of wood a beautiful, beautiful farmhouse look. I'm going to link in the card section right above here our install process of how we accomplished this look into our home, as well as put a link down in the description box below where you guys can check out Crates and Palette's brackets on Home Depot's website. Big thank you to Crates and Palette. They're actually going to be hosting a giveaway here. So make sure you watch all 13 home tours the whole month of April and comment on each of them, your favorite part of the home tour. That will be your ticket in to win two Crates and Palette crates, as well as four of the Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can make farmhouse shelves in your own home too. Today I am so excited to be visiting my good friend Jessica from FM Farmhouse here today. She has an amazing farmhouse home she lives in and she has been accomplishing so many DIY projects lately. I'm just so excited to go visit her home and see what she's been up to. So I have Jessica's Instagram account linked down in the description box below. So go give her a follow, see what she's up to and let's go to her at Jessica's home today. Day 12, I think, of quarantine. And there's four kids and my husband home. It's been kind of crazy. But now I kind of understand why the dogs chew up the couch when we leave. Oh, wait. Sorry, guys. My video, just a second. That's a little better. <laughs> this is Jessica from FM Farmhouse and I'm here to do a tour um, for Living at Country's YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Let's see how messy my house is. So we're gonna start with my living room. <sighs> okay, so this is our home. Um, we like to kind of keep it simple. Well other than that ginormous TV my husband just purchased. It was his birthday gift, although he picked it out. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm gonna just kind of take you around. Sorry, the dogs will bark. That's just how my life goes. And I'll show you a little bit of the different things of our house. Well, I guess we'll start in the entryway. Uh, for a morning, my dogs will bark. They bark nonstop. Okay, so this mirror I got at a estate sale as well as this chair, which I absolutely adore. Um, I collect vintage cameras, which you'll know if you saw my last video. So here's some of my other vintage cameras um, that I've collected along with these cool, like electrical insulators. Um, we actually found these on our property. The random, but kind of cool now for us thing is that the people who lived here before, I'm pretty sure didn't have garbages. <laughs> so they literally threw everything outside and burned it. But here's the deal, like we found so many cool stuff because of that. So a win, kinda, but a hot mess in another, especially all the tires we had to pick up. It was insane. Okay, so the property we live on is actually a part of the original homestead. Um, the cousin who owned it um, had rented the property out and that's why it was that way. Okay, so this is my vintage buffet. Um, I ended up turning it into a TV station, um, more of my vintage cameras. I also like um, collecting cigar boxes and um, old books. I'm kind of a weird collector and I like things random. Um, <laughs> this is my husband's birthday gift. It's ginormous. I couldn't find a cool picture to go on it, so he put our website. So this is what we do. <laughs> this is our website, uh, fmfarmhouse.com. We're a quarterly farmhouse decor subscription box. It's kind of in your face right there. Okay, so one of my favorite colors to decorate with is blue. I 
I'm losing my light a little bit here. It's getting kind of stormy today. Okay, so our house, like I said, is just kind of random here. There we go. I love big signs and random things to hang on the wall. I'm obsessed with that pink. Um, there's a little pair up there in the corner, uh, which is from our fall box. We're going to go down here. And I adore tiny little random tables. Um, this one's my favorite blue. Um, that pillow right there was actually in the fall box before for the last one, so two years ago. Um, it's a full size one. The basket was in our Christmas box um, this last December. Okay, try not to get winded. I talk really fast when I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so next is my cool little blanket um, shelf. <laughs> not really sure how you would call that. Again, just some of my little treasures I found. Um, here and there, random places, probably either Goodwill or some sort of hobby shop. Um, we're gonna go down here. I have my fun little vintage 70s side table. This is my side. Um, yes, we have our sides. Okay, so then right now what we have burning, come on, focus. Oh, there we go. Is the Anchored Northwest Candle Company and it's date night. Um, I love, 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 love their candles. They're amazing. Um, I do a lot of hand lettering. So here's all my random journals. Okay, we're gonna go back out. So this is just kind of a random panning. Trying not to get my outside because it's a mess. Okay, so right here is my board and batten wall. Um, I actually did a of sorts on how we did it. It's on our Instagram stories. Um, up here we have the center one is by Smallwood Home. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite sayings. Um, I actually got one from Mama too. Um, the more sign um, says LYL. My sister Dana, who actually her tour is on here too, um, she secretly had um, Hazel Gray make that for me and send it. Um, we always say love you, love you more, um, and the LYL stands for love you little because when I talk to her, it's LYB, so love you big. Um, <laughs> it's, good, it's a funny inside story. It sounds weird, but it's pretty awesome. There's a weird shadow on that one, but one of my favorite songs. Okay, we'll go back down to here. So this vintage little 7-Up, um, it's a little 7-Up um, bottle holder. Um, I actually found on property, randomly on our field, um, the don't be a turd today is one of my favorite signs I have. Um, and it's by the Rustic Rosebud. See, she has good prices. Sorry, I didn't realize that was still on there. Okay, it's by the Rustic Rosebud. All of her signs, she hand letters herself, which I think is super cool. Um, this is one of my favorite succulents. Oops, sorry. This is by Hardy Succulents. Um, the little tin I got from Dandelion Wishes Candle Company. She was so sweet and helped me out. Um, the dumbbell that's up top. It's arguing with me. There we go. That was in our last box, um, our spring box. And it's a cool, like, vintage, rustic, um, just kind of accent. It's a found object, which means there's no two the same. And I love that. Again, with my random <laughs> collection of things. Uh, vintage like green card holder. Um, the flowers were in a box last July, I believe, the Down Shiloh Road box. And then just kind of my funky little collection of things. <laughs> like the random deer head. I still haven't quite figured out what I want to do with that yet. These are my poor flowers. <laughs> I don't know why they uh, fell over, but they did. They're real. Um, that basket was also one of the baskets that was in our Christmas box. And then moving over, I'm obsessed with cream cans. The one on the very left 
is actually one that's been in my family since I can remember, since I was a little girl. My aunt had that on her uh, porch. This one I found, I think it was another estate auction. Um, I also collect vintage suitcases, and of course that one's blue, so I had to have it. Okay, let's see. Well, hold on, let me get together. Yes, this is gonna sound funny. Let me get to the other side of the room, and then we'll go from there. Well, yeah, that one's not ready either, guys. Sorry. Hold up. That's a little better. Still kind of messy, but this is my life. Okay, so we're gonna go into here. This is actually my great-grandmother's china hutch. Um, everything in it is either treasures from family or random finds. Um, there's certain things like the chicken cutting board, which came from the down Shiloh home, um, FM farmhouse box. The gorgeous, I love this, this is one of my favorite pieces. That was my mother-in-law's. Um, of course, I'm obsessed with jars, especially the blue ones, because hmm, blue is my favorite color. More camera, just random things. I found this on the property. I found this on the property. Um, what else did I find? Oh, I found that on the property. And that. And then I found that at that uh, cute little estate sale I went to. My husband actually made the Corbells and that gorgeous cutting board back there. He's getting quite handy. Okay, so we're gonna move over here. This is our old mantle that I wasn't really quite sure what I wanted to do with, but I ended up putting it up on the wall, kind of like a shelf. And I know a lot of people put the feet on it, um, and I'm still trying to decide if I want to do that or not. Um, it's a little bit different than most people's. It's not originally a mantle, if that makes sense. Believe it or not. Okay, don't tell anybody I shall do this. Never mind, it's on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so you remember the old school beds? Like the ones that had this on it and then it would go down the side and have a frame. <laughs> we cut it off of one. Because I liked it because it was weathered and the rest of it was really broken. So, and plus it's not really my style. <laughs> so we made a mantle out of it. So find one of those really old like random headboards like that. Done. You're welcome. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay, so up here, that is another um, cutting board my husband made. Um, he loathes hates it because it's not symmetrical and I'm definitely a symmetrical person. However, I love when things are quirky and this I'm obsessed with. Okay, so the little cactus is from um, Hardy Succulents. Um, I found that cute little ducky the other day on the property. Um, that's my mother-in-law who passed, um, which is actually how we inherited the property. Um, just a couple fun little things. That was one of her birdhouses. Yes, I dusted before this. No, it doesn't matter because I live on a dirt farm. Yes. Okay, there's my grandma and grandpa. How cute are they? They're still like teenagers, I love it. Okay, so it's just my random, I'm not that girl. Believe it or not, I'm in my office most of the time. So I don't get to style my house as much as most people would think. Okay, one other really fun thing. This is actually a picture that a lady hand painted um, this ha was over my grandma's um, dining room table since she can remember. So she says the earliest she can remember seeing it is when she was four. So my grandma's in her 80s. How cool is that? <laughs> so definitely a vintage piece. And I love that she had it over her table. Oops, I just messed this whole thing up. Okay guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've had to move things around as I go because husband just brought in some stuff too. Okay, so this picture right here is from um, our, it was Ashley, it was themed after Ashley at our 1917 farmhouse. Um, I love the flowers. Those were in the box that was themed after Jen from down Shiloh Road. All right, so I've recently become obsessed with the jadeite. But I love just little trinkets and the bunnies and the blues and all that fun stuff. 
that kind of concludes my dining area. So it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded the rest of my video, but I wanted to show you, we renovated the kitchen. So we put in these floors. This would have been perfect for the snap, by the way. And I totally forgot about it. So we literally took off every single countertop, all the floors. I painted the bottom cabinets and we tiled the backsplash. And while it still has a little work, we got to do the touch up um, of the drywall and stuff and do painting. I absolutely love how it turned out. So I couldn't send the video to Holly without premiering, of course, our new kitchen. Forgive any sort of mess you see because right now we live on a legit farm and we are bottle feeding two calves and a bottle goat. <laughs> So husband literally just ran in to make a bottle and I had to quickly clean up after to do this, but um, they're a lot of work, but we love them. Anyway, this wood floor, we installed it was all raw wood um, flooring, so unfinished. Um, we kind of pieced together a couple different types of wood just because I wanted it to be unique and different. Um, I don't know that I recommend that because it was a really hard unless you know what you're doing as far as it goes with floors. Um, I chose to get the single bay sink um, just because we have so many dishes and I really just didn't like um, the two, two basin. Oh, there's my cow. So we ended up with just the one and I actually love how it looks. I love also the light from the dark. Um, so this, I actually um, did a video not too long ago about this paint. It's actually, sorry, I'm trying to grab the paint as I talk to you. Um, General Finishes water-based milk paint, antique white. And it only actually took me a pint and like a quarter to do that. I'm not joking. Um, I kept the original knobs. I did order some new ones, but I kind of like how it looks. Um, those dish towels right there are from the Lumia. I absolutely adore her. And she sent those to me when I made a big order of her Denise or Denise, you know what? I'm sorry sis, I don't know how to pronounce that towel, but um, when we ordered a big lot of them, I'm out of breath already, this happens every time. So we did Butcher Block, um, I actually love it. I was a little worried um, because our island that we did in Butcher Block is kind of destroyed, but we found a new oil, and while we still wanna oil it a couple more times, I like it not like so much more. Um, I actually installed the tile myself, super proud of myself. Um, my husband made these cute little um, cutting boards. And you know, honestly, I don't usually have a lot of stuff um, in my house. I kind of like it to be open. Um, and I feel like a lot of clutter kind of closes it. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, um, so it's kind of minimalistic without trying to be. <laughs> um, just a lot of my odds and ends, but Anyway, thank you for watching my video. Um, we love Holly at Living at Country. And thank you, Holly, for inviting us over for this tour. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for watching the spring edition of the Farmhouse Home Tour series. I hope you guys got lots and lots of new ideas and inspiration for your home. Big thank you to all the ladies that have shared their beautiful homes. And a big thank you to Crates and Palette for sponsoring this video series. If you guys want to achieve a DIY farmhouse look in your home, I have linked down below their Crates and Palette brackets so you guys can get a beautiful shelf on a budget and an easy DIY. I'll see you guys later on Living in Country. Bye!